Welcome! So this is our part one of our signature, uh, signature talk training video series. So in the next five days, we're going to put together your signature talk at about half hour a day, okay? So um, today, we're going to start with the offer, which is at the end of your talk, obviously. But we're starting there because that is the part that gives people the most trouble. It's the part they shy away from. It's the trickiest part. Is the most important part, and um, how what you offer actually informs the rest of your talk. So let's go. What I'm going to do is break it down for you into seven parts of the offer, and we're going to go part by part. So every time we finish a part, what you can do is pause the video, type it on your computer. What you're going to say there, you can follow my examples and tailor to your. Don't copy exactly what I'm saying, of course. And then keep playing the video and then, you know, pause and type and so on until we get through the seven parts of the offer, right? So let's start. Part one is the permission. So imagine you have just finished teaching, right? You have given your absolute best. You have given your heart and soul. You taught them so much awesome, valuable content. Now it's time to give your offer, right? And the offer makes sense because you've only been teaching what? The teaching content takes about 15 minutes. You can never teach everything there's to teach in 15 minutes, so there's obvious next steps, right? So that is the offer. But it is a good idea to ask for a permission because that avoids the sliming, the slimy, oh, and I'm being sold, right? So it, it, asking for permission gives you confidence and it gives them, oh, okay, yeah, of course, right? So there's the agreement, right? They don't feel pushed. When they say yes, to you actually giving the offer, there's an agreement, there's already a bond forming, and it's just such a nicer way to do it than just you know blur out your offer. So, um, you know the way you ask, uh, it's up to you. But you could say something like, "Okay, so that's about all I can teach here in the thirty, you know, in the thirty-minute presentation. Is it okay if I share with you how to work with me or what the next step is? Is that all right?" Right, so, um, and you can wait for them to respond and what you can expect, what I've seen. You know, some people will be like, yeah, and some people are going to be, you know, it depends on your audience. It depends how you talk when. Sometimes you get blank stares and you can ask again. You're like, is it all right? You know, sometimes you get sleepy faces. Don't worry about it. You know, sometimes when you get, you know, RBF, resting bitch face, it doesn't necessarily mean that they weren't listening. That, also, that might mean that they're actually with you in the content, following. They're just in their head. So don't make anything of it. Ask again, right? So wait for them to nod or wait for somebody to nod so that you get the confidence. And then move to the next section. So I want you to pause the video now and write out how you're going to ask. Okay? So part two. Now that you've asked for permission, you're going to describe the offer. And it is important that you're very, very clear and clearly explain what it is that you're doing, whether it's a free or paid session, what it does, so what are they going to get out of it, and why it makes sense for them to take you up on it, right? Why is it a continuation? Make it clear for them. So here's an example. Here's my example. All right, so the best way to keep the momentum going is to schedule a business building blueprint session with me. So what it is, it's a 60 minute one-on-one -on -one time with me where we'll basically go into the specifics of how you're going to build your business because every business has its nuances and every business is a little bit individual. And we're gonna come up with a clear game plan of how you can get to from where you are to making 10K a month or whatever, you know, that changes. So this way you'll have a clear path, a clear roadmap, and I'm gonna give you specific actions to take. It's not going to just be some theory. You're gonna get some specific action steps for the next six months that you can take. Does that make sense? Does that sound like a plan? All right, so, and you notice, so that was my example, and you notice that, you know, I, I asked, does it make sense? Does it sound like a plan? All right, so there's this agreement, there's this communication going. It's not just television, right? blank TV, me talking at you. So, um, now, so I want you to pause this and write this out, right? And there's a text you can also follow under the video so you can kind of 
you can sort of copy that but please don't copy that completely like you have your brand language you should have your own messaging brief and how you communicate with your people so you use your own language all right so let's move on to part three so now it's time to give them a really good reason not to delay and why they should take action now to keep the momentum going okay so you're going to give them even more reasons so here's an example here's what i've observed with entrepreneurs we get so busy we get so bogged down we rarely take a step back and think strategically do all the things that i'm doing really make sense right that's a question we have to ask ourselves am i spending the time doing the right things Am I spending the things or am I spending time doing the things that are actually generating business or am I just checking some boxing and saying, yeah, I'm doing promotion and marketing, right? So that's my question for you. Are you really being strategic in your business? So that's an example. You want to look at what your customers and potential customers are doing. What's the mistake that they're making, right? My potential customers are not doing their personal growth. They're not being strategic in their business, whatever it is, right? And, and, and everybody gets that way. So everybody needs some held holding or course or guidance or coaching or whatever. So that was part three. Describe the mistake that people are making to give them the reason to continue working with you. So pause the video, do the work, and now we're moving to part four. So in part four, we're going to talk about the price for your offer, for your consultation or whatever it is, and why it is set that way. So now you're gonna tell them how much it is. If you're doing a discounted offer, right? If you're doing a significant discount, you wanna tell them why and you wanna be honest about it, right? Now keep in mind, people know when they're being lied to and you know when you're lying to people, it, it's uncomfortable. So don't try to manipulate them and trick them into anything. Be, be honest. That's the answer to this, right? So here's an example of what I've, in the past, what I've done in the past. And this part really changes, but something like this would be appropriate, right? So you can say, for example, Normally, I charge 186 bucks an hour for coaching during my VIP intensives, and I charge 129 bucks for my Blueprint session. That's what's on my website. But I'm offering this today for $99, as I've just finished program with three of my clients, and I'm looking to fill my schedule. Right? So I have some free time in my hands that I'm trying to fill in the next week. So that's the price for the next week. So you see, I put a time limit on it too, because you know, if you're doing discounted sessions, you want to have them back to back, you want to schedule them so you can knock them out of the way. So, um, so that's part four, the price. So pause the video, write this out, and uh, then let's move to part five. So part five, you're gonna tell them more about what to expect and what the catch is if there's one. So if you want to sell them on something in the session, if the session is in order to introduce them to your three, six month signature program or whatever, you want to tell them that ahead of time. You don't want them to thinking that paying 150 bucks for a coaching session and then you spend an hour, uh, you know, sales pitching in them on something because that doesn't have integrity, right? That's uh, that's kind of, and they'll know this, right? So there needs to be some value. And usually there's going to be both, right? They're going get, to get value. You're going to get to know them. And at the end, you're going to see, does it make sense to work with this person? You're going to make them an offer, right? Or not, right? Sometimes, sometimes you don't, right? Sometimes you just don't see effort or you see you couldn't help them. So it can go both ways. So, um... So you want to tell them how the session's going to go, right? And if you're going to make an offer, you might make sure that they know they're not obligated and there's no pressure from you. They might still experience pressure because people do, but, you know, and that's got nothing to do with you sometimes, but you want to make sure that you do not expect them to, you know, commit to you long-term in one session, right? So here's my example. I tell people something like this. 
here's what we're going to do in the session. So here's how it usually goes, right? In the first few minutes, we talk about you and your business, what you're dealing with, the specifics of your business, your struggles, where you want to be. And then uh, based on what you've told me, I'll make some step-by-step -step recommendations of how to move forward, the things you need to do strategically and tactically, and, and the tactics you need to use. And by the way, I've done many, many times, this is what I do, and I'm really good at it. So then, there'll be some time for you to ask questions, some specific questions that you're curious about, relating to your situation. And then in the last 10 minutes, You'll have a chance to decide whether you want to implement my recommendations on your own, which is totally okay if you do that. You'll get enough from me to run with it if you want to, or if you want to work with me and I'll tell you more about my program. All right, so that is what the session's gonna look like. Um, and yeah, um, by the way, there's no pressure to continue working with me in the long term. Picky swear, there's no pressure. It can go either way, right? So that's, that's how my offer looks like. So you can copy that or, you know, always just make sure you're comfortable presenting this because this part, you have to be really, really, really comfortable. If you're not comfortable, if you get shy, you know, craft it to where you're like, yeah, I'm at home with this, right? The at homeness during presenting the offer is really important. So that's part five, telling them what to expect. Um, pause the video, write it out before we move to part six. So now part to, to part six. Now you tell them how to register and you give them some limits, right? So you have to describe very clearly and very slowly so they can follow. You have to describe it so clearly. You have to slow down. You have to wait for them to write and fill out whatever form you have for them. You have to be intentional. And this is the part where people get really, really shy and really nervous too. So you want to practice this in front of a mirror. And sometimes practice it five or 10 times until it just rolls off your tongue, okay? So uh, here's an example. So I would grab you know, my registration form. This is not, it's just a piece of paper, but okay. So here's how you register. Underneath your chair, You'll find a credit card form that looks like this. And that's the form to register for the business building blueprint session. And you notice I wait for them to pick it up, right? I wait for them to grab the form and look at it. Does anybody need a pen? You know, does anybody need a pen? Does everybody have a pen? Okay. You know, because I don't want people like, oh, they're searching for pen and not listening to me at the same time. So I'll pause. Now, if you want to participate, I have six slots open for the next week. First come, first serve basis. So what you want to do is fill it out completely with your name, phone number, email address, and your credit card information. You see how slowly I'm doing this? Doing this. So once you have it done, you want to bring it to me. And what I have here is time slots that you can choose from. I have quite a few time slots here. So you want to pick time on your schedule that works for you. And if the time doesn't work for you, don't worry. We'll sort it out and find the time that works for both of us. So again, when you're done with this, fold it in half so nobody can see your credit confirmation. Bring it over to me and we'll get you scheduled. So that's part six, how to register. I noticed I, there was a limit, right? Don't tell them you have all the time in the world because, you know, there's time limit. You always tell them this is the price that's valid for the next seven days and there's people limit, right? This is how the human brain works. Well, you know, most people, oh, I'll do this later. I'll do this later. And they probably never will. So you want to you wanna put the people who are actually interested, you want to put their butt on the bio so I can actually get moving. Anyway. So, um, so that's part six, pause and write this down and we're moving to part seven, rescheduling disclosure. There's actually eight parts. I thought it was seven. Anyway, there's eight parts. So rescheduling disclosure, rescheduling of sessions, you know, people are emailing me, oh, I signed up for the wrong session. Can I reschedule? And then people cancel. 
used to be such a big deal when I first started out and it really didn't work so um, gosh so I had to add this and I really recommend you do otherwise you're gonna go crazy so if you're offering a free session I just recommend you say something like uh, just so you know when you come up to, um, to uh, sign up on the schedule just make sure the time really works for you because my schedule is super busy and I usually don't have time to reschedule um, you can do that with free sessions. If you're doing paid sessions, if you're doing speaking for some time and you do paid sessions, then um, I suggest you charge for reschedules, right? Um, you can charge, you can just charge $27 or whatever. It doesn't have to be a lot of money. You can either, either tell them that reschedules cost extra money or you can do it in the pre-nurture that goes out, the emails that go out before their sessions which you should have a really good email nurture. It really makes a difference. They come to the session much more motivated and excited and you know they have been thinking about whatever they're gonna be doing with you, so it makes sense. But that's, that's a sidetrack, right? So, um, so you, can, you can mention it in the first email. By the way, if you need to reschedule, there's an automatic payment that's gonna be taken off your credit card. So, but here's the reschedule button, right? So, um, so yeah, so that's the rescheduling disclosure. I want you to decide on what you want to do and pause the video. And now we're moving to the final part, which is the final invitation to register. This is really just a really quick statement, but you want to make sure you get your ex excitement up, right? So you can say something like, okay, so that's it for me. I cannot wait to spend, I cannot wait to spend time with you working on your business strategy or whatever it is that you're doing. You know, this is what I really, really love doing. This is, you know, especially if you're doing it for free, you can say, you know, this is such a, this is such a huge gift for me and it's such a fun time and thank you for letting me contribute. So I can't wait, it's gonna be a blast. I, can, I hope I can be of help. And if you have any question about the session, by the way, if you're not sure if it's right for you, uh, then make sure you find me, uh, make sure you find me in a few minutes and I'll be able to answer those. So uh, that's the final, uh, that's the final invitation. So that's it for the offer, put it together. And finally, I wanna let you know about the speaker day workshop I'm doing. So don't pause this video yet. I'm opening all day speaker day for registration. So this is a big deal because it's much, much, much affordable than most good speaker training because what we're going to do we're not we're going to go over your talk we're going to polish and practice each part you're going to get to practice it in front of people we're going to go over some techniques and we're going to up over your speaking skills but most importantly and this is what you need we'll have a camera crew on site and we'll make a professional video of you speaking or video it's going to be one minute real it's like a promo of a speaker we're going to put together different parts of your talk and we're also going to interview two other speakers from the audience after you hear you speak they're going to give you testimonial or hopefully a positive testimonial but we're going to give each other positive testimonials deal so um we're going to put that together and you're going to have it available after so um you know the speaker reel is quite helpful if you're not known if you're just starting out because organizers sort of want to know that you know you know how to be in front of people and stuff like that so Early bird registration is now open, and I'm only opening a very limited number of people because of the videotaping and all that. So, um, so the seats will go fast, and when they're gone, they're gone. So you want to make sure you grab your seat, and the link will be posted to the registration underneath this video. So follow the link and sign up. Uh, check to see, the, to see if the date works for you. Check to see if the price works for you, and hopefully I'll see you there. Either way, uh, keep following this series. Tomorrow, we're gonna dive into part two of the signature video, signature talk training. And we're going to talk about the core teaching content, actually. So today we covered the offer. You know, if you haven't finished all the parts, definitely finish it up now so that you don't get it all piled up, all right? So I'll see you tomorrow, can't wait.